Hi, Dr. Gary here on the road. We are dental practice brokers nationwide. We sell dental practices. So today's topic is seller very impatient. Can't wait to sell his practice. We'll talk about what happened. So anyway, we're now in 28 states selling dental practices nationwide. We have 10 employees and two CPA accountants, marketing director, operations director, and five development acquisition people, specialists. Um, we're now working uh, 363 days a year. You can get us every day except Christmas and Easter. And our phones are being answered from 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. every day. Our phone number is 201-663-0935. And our website is nationwidedentalpracticebrokers.com. Also, it's dentalpracticeguide.com. It's another one of our websites. So get on there and check out check us out. All the information you're about to hear today is for entertainment purposes only. It is not legal or business advice. So, also want you to know if you are uh, thinking about selling to a DSO, large corporate dentistry, we can help you. Often they will pay our commission. And on top of that, uh, if you work with us based on criteria, we can get your legal fees reimbursed upon successful closing based on certain criteria. So we can help you with that. So give us a ring on that. The market is hot for sellers right now, so jump on in. So anyway, what's today's topic? The seller is so impatient. Only been a month. And a uh, seller calls me every other day. What's going on? What's going on? It takes time. It's four to eight months to sell a practice. Now, this particular seller, what we did was reduce the price down drastically. You know, we're down below 50% of gross, which is... Uh, a very good number because most practices are, you know, 65, 70, 80 percent, somewhere in that range to a standard purchaser. This doctor, rec we brought the, the cost down way down. We're talking, we're about 28 percent of gross. So it's very, you know, it's a good deal for somebody. But it still takes time. Even though it's a great deal, it still takes time. To sell something, it just doesn't have happen overnight. You get the first buyer that comes in, they're motivated, then they go home, they think about it, they don't want to buy it. You know, so you've got to be patient. If there's one word you've got to exercise in the sale of a dental practice, it is patience. You don't have patience, forget it. You're going to drive yourself crazy. And you got to realize you get a deal together, well, 70% will go through, yeah, but 30% won't. So sometimes it means one out of three is not going to work out. Can't get, you know, get upset about it. Excuse me, I need my sunglasses because we have a blue sky, beautiful New Jersey day. All right, we're looking good. So anyway, um, how much time does it need, you know, to, to get these? Every practice is different. Some practices are a hot seller, but ones out in the rural area are somewhat slower. But you get a practice in Manhattan, you know, six, seven, eight hundred thousand and above. Uh, you know, midtown, downtown, uptown, it's going to sell pretty fast if it's PPO fee for service. So that's what will happen. Everything takes time. You've got to exercise patience. You've got to have patience. If there's one thing people are lacking in the sale of a dental practice, it's patience. So many people are, are just nervous and they want it done their way. It's just, it's a big headache. So listen to me. A, uh, practice being patient with something and it's going to work out better for you. All right? That is one of the key words, one of the number one words for you to remember. Because it will take time to get the deal to go to the closing. So if you're patient with it, it should work out well. We try to get the highest dollar amount we can. We can't always achieve it, but often we do. Or give you a pulse on the marketplace too. And I realize some of you have earned their, you know, the whole life have uh, been there. They've been working all their life at the dental practice. You would think they're worth more compensation. Well, in Canada, they get 100, 125% of the gross. And I can see what you mean, but in, in the States, it's usually that 65 to 
unless you're selling to a DSO. So that's something you've just got to acknowledge. Patience is the word. You've got to be patient with what's going on. And once you get to that point, I think it should work out just great for you. But initially, you got to sit back and be patient and let things work its course. This one doctor, now we, when we're in a real rush, sometimes we'll reduce the price down, but that doesn't mean the buyer is ready to pay that. You know, I think we're going to bring his price down substantially, like 30% down below what it was. It was 70% before, you know, we're going to bring it way down. And that itself has brought people in. But you've got to just work in the system, go slow and easy, and it should work out good for you. The success rate of a dental practice is 99.75%. You are never going to fail. That's it. There should be no fears. You will not fail. You hang in there, and you're going to see what happens. It's going to work out fantastic. All right. So that's the message of the day. Thank you so much. Speak to you all soon. We have our new newsletter coming out really soon, and I'll let you know what that's about. Thanks. Bye.